This is the Benjamin Zulu Global. Welcome our viewers from all over the world to the home of the heart matters. We converge to learn together because when you know better, you can do better. And a better life is what we all want. Better work life, better family life, better personal life. What's up great people? Welcome to the Benjamin Zulu show. My name is Lily. Let me read an excerpt from he Healing Your Inner Self by Benjamin Zulu. Um he says he talks about in chapter 7 if you changed your religious faith just to get married. You see, matters of faith are deep and fundamental to who you are. Um your faith informs everything you do and the lifestyle you adopt. If you can change from one faith to another, to join your lover, you're too shallow and undeveloped as a human being. Ouch! <laughs> yes, the problem is not even <clears throat> that you think you're sacrificing for love. Uh -huh. The problem is that you have, you have no depth. Okay. When the saw went so in, all the seeds sprouted. But the ones that were on a shallow soil with no depth, mm. they dried quickly. Mm. When you go watering, it's a garden, I, I like watering, and I noticed that it's a place that has no depth of soil. Mm -hmm. Those grasses are usually the first ones to dry. Mm. If you just keep two days, because they have no storage, yeah, yeah, they start drying up. Mm. These others have some depth. Oh. Your spirituality is your depth. Yes. It's what makes you believe in humanity. Mm. What makes you believe that there is a hope for tomorrow, that you can wait and where things will add up together, that this disease will pass, yeah. this trial will pass. When you found your faith and the one you believe in, even if you are going to change it, you should change it because you, your convictions were drawn by the other one. Not because there is a lover there. Mm, right. Anybody changing their faith for you, you should not trust them. They will also change their faith in you. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> so now they are converting from uh, their view of God. Tomorrow they can convert from their view of you. Thank you very much. They have no death. Yeah. What about churches? Sometimes it's the it's, it's mm -hmm. same thing, but different churches. Catholic, Pentecostal. You know. Yeah. Thank you for bringing that because I want to tell you that sometimes it's not just the church, it's the body of beliefs. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's not the church, it's the beliefs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Many churches have no difference, really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a group of churches that will be the same. Yeah. A lot of people can go between this and the other because they are the same. Because the belief system is more or less the, the same. same. So don't worry about churches, just worry about the body of beliefs. Some churches are nameless, they're tiny in the village there. But the things they believe, mm -hmm. no medicine. Yeah, <laughs> no education. Hmm. <laughs> That's until you go and see Jesus. <coughs> you know. Yeah. So don't just ask, what is the name of that church? No, look at what they believe. Believes determine behavior. Okay. People behave how they believe. Yeah. And if you 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 try to take them outside what they believe, you are, you are, you are at a fight now already. Yeah. People dress how they believe, eat how they believe, spend mm -hmm. money how they believe. Yeah. Build life, ambition, drive. <laughs> life is more invisible than it is visible. Let me ask you a real quick one. Yes. So I meet this guy and he's been hurt in church. So he doesn't go to church anymore. But he watches someone's on TV and he's very God-fearing, God, loves God. But I love the community aspect. Is that enough reason for me to walk away from What does your faith tell you about church attending? Always. If you're differing over faith, consult your faith. Okay. Okay. <laughs> because it told you. Okay. Not forsaking the habit of coming together as you see the day coming near. As some are in the habit of doing Hebrews 10 that five. So it already told you that if a person has it what will happen over time? They'll grow cold. There's a physical warmth. Mm. They said mm. some things can't be passed by Bluetooth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or by broadcast. Also when you get children with a person who is not doing what you're doing. What will you teach the children? They'll be so confused. Yeah, it's a joke when a person says you are Muslim marrying a, marrying a Christian. You are not a serious Muslim either. Either even where you are, you're not serious. Yeah, <laughs> I get that. 
you don't see you're, you're just confused. If you have identity, my friend, <laughs> if you have conviction, you won't hate people, but when it comes to, to marrying, you pick one whom you speak the same language. Yeah. Whom you align. Okay. A friend went to study India and he fell in love with an Indian girl there. He was telling me the story in a flight. In a very elevated mood. You know you have there, elevated mood. Yeah. And he's reflecting on his funny journeys <laughs> <encounter>. of life. Yeah. <laughs> he's seeing with a bit of laughter, so you expect a happy ending because <laughs> Huh? <laughs> me, my friend. I do not know anything about Hinduism. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Until we went for that cultural ceremony. And I'm being, <laughs> the things I'm supposed to do. Did he actually get engaged with her? They tried. They came here together. Settled <laughs> <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> somewhere in the coast. <laughs> and. He told me, my brother, don't try that. <laughs> don't try that stuff. <laughs> Between us, we were okay. Okay. But the culture and where she's referencing, she's saying we have this chemistry and intellectual. You know, they're meeting on a very high level of study. Mm -hmm. PhD. I mean, up there. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Uh, the, the level of meeting was very up. Okay. But the real human, he told me, the real person is not the intellect only. You may like how the person thinks of the challenge you're thinking. Yeah. But there are some other primal things you don't question. Mm. Because my faith teaches so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he said, to have a vegetarian and a carnivorous person in the same Wait. house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and everything is touching everything. <laughs> everything is. Uh, yeah. He was just telling me, matters mm. of faith may seem peripheral when chemistry is over the roof. But chemistry yeah. will leave the roof and come to the floor. And now you will realize. <laughs> <laughs> so, don't dare. It, if you think you can consider changing your faith, I, I think you're very juvenile. Pre-25 is very common with that. Yeah. Because they're not anywhere either. Yeah. They don't know themselves. It's a problem of identity. Yeah. When you're convinced about matters of your God and your roots and your existence, you will respect other humans and the path they have ch chosen. Mm. But you won't marry a person who cannot buy into this does not buy into this. Mm -hmm. Neither should you do evangelism by marriage. Yeah. <laughs> by ma getting them converted and you marry them. Hey, hey. I think for me personally, I don't yes. know about the viewers, but I think that is my biggest pitfall that I need to... You, 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 you see? Because I believe in humanity. Change. I believe in change. <laughs> I believe in transformation. <laughs> the problem there is you should not drop your belief in yeah. people's ability to change. Because some people, you're not moving them from any faith. They were just faithless. Really. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're introducing them to... Yeah. And they buy and they're happy and they saw that and you're seeing... Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. The problem with that person marrying them is that you have taken a parental role in their life and it, they reach the teenage stage where... <laughs> Teenagers rebel against hey. their parents. I support that one. Yes. <laughs> or alternatively, you have become a mentor, and we all reach a point where we want independence from the mentors. Mm. That time when we want to individuate and find our path, we seem like we should push back mm -hmm. and fight ourselves. Don't, another reason you shouldn't is because we are not in the same stages of maturity mm. with this person. When you bring them in, when they're still fresh, and you, you're, on, you're still on hard meat. This person is Hebrews 5.14, milk. Yeah. Yeah. And you're on the hard meat. Yeah. In Hebrews 6.1. Where are we? Now let's move on to maturity. No. Yeah, I think usually I will also come to a point where I want to rebel from this person. Because you know? I'm like, what are we talking about? Fundamentals every time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you get tired of fundamentals. And I told you the friction of um, the husband teaching the wife how to drive. Uh huh. Many men have to go through that, but you hope you're teaching advanced driving, not the basic driving. Yes. Go to school, get a license. Yes. Now I'm teaching you defensive techniques on the road. Yes. That is better. That's better. Sometimes I'm not, I'm not teaching you driving. It's a conflict of driving styles, really. I came to realize that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So sometimes it's not the driving. It's what you'd rather do. The manner in which you'd rather move your vehicle. The speed at which you'd rather move. Mm. So, yes, if you ask me, I would say 
do not shift the fundamental fun basis of your life for another person. Okay. Yes. All that to say, there is really a lot in this book. It may look like a small book, but there's so much. There's, there's really so much. So get yourself a copy. goes for a thousand bob. You can receive it. I saw someone saying, I got it from Somaliland. Other people getting it from South Africa. Other people getting it from... U.S. Cayman Islands. Cayman Islands. I like it. Yeah. So this and all of these others, dating right, toxic relationships, dreams before dating... Um, you can get yourself a copy of each or many copies of each. Uncle Benjamin said he'll give you a gift when you get many copies. And then also November 11th conference, please sign up. All of this you're doing, if you want to sign up for a book or for the conference, do it through the WhatsApp number on your screen. 4,000 Bob for virtual attendance and 5,000 Bob for physical attendance at the Utali Hotel on November 11th. We're talking about how to grow your love and your money. I'm really trying to rush into this topic because it's an exciting one. Why do side chicks overthrow the wife and rule the game? <laughs> like um, Princess Camilla versus Princess Diana. <laughs> it really looks like the side chick won. You know? Yeah. Do you know... That battle has been in movies. Yeah. Um, there's even a series. I saw that they, they really tried to drum it up. Uh -huh. Called The Second Family. Mm -hmm. Yes. So when there's a notion of polygamy, when there's a notion of one woman came and what did you the other one? Yeah. So it, they're pitted against who used which tactics. Who, and, and, and it's really intriguing. People following. Yeah. And it's, it's trending. Yeah. You know. And, 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 and you, you, you see, finally it appears like the good woman has lost. Mm. Yeah, always. She disappears from the scene. Yes. And those of goodwill feel confused. Yes. Is this how you reward loyalty? The one who was with you when you had nothing now has been reduced to nothing, and another one has been br brought to a center stage to enjoy everything. Mm. People who mean well are left shaking their heads. You know, it appears like a battle of values. Th those who don't care and those who do. Yeah. Those who wait for you to do the hard job. Did I tell you why married men are attractive? Somebody has done the hard job yes. of selecting somebody who has substance. Yeah. There are women who would rather wait on the other end. You guys go do the selecting and then you bring the ones that you think have substance <laughs> it really looks like the, the better place to be sometimes it does someone yeah. does all the work and then somebody comes in so go get a good raw material and then start cleaning it up okay for the next 10 years <laughs> okay do you understand the assignment <laughs> go to the forest identify a good raw material, raw material. <laughs> and then don't just bring it when it's raw eh? Uh -huh. uh, start, it. start cleaning it up. Yeah. <laughs> Shaping it. Uh -huh. Until when it has presentability, now that's when we come. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what it looks like. It really does. It looks like that. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And then, when this person, you have given them reputation, respectability, I know. money, power, Where am I related? image. When you have sacrificed yourself and taken the back seat to just do the dirty work. There are people who have really done the data work. Please, let's give credit to you. I mean. <laughs> What's the data work, for example? No, there are some things about men that only that woman could have handled. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> only this particular one. Yeah. <laughs> At this level of love. <laughs> yeah. Some things require love, okay? Yes. <laughs> yes. You know? <laughs> you know, even if, if, bachelors, when you need to use the dobby, there are some things you could not even have the to mind to take them to the Dobby people. Mm. <laughs> yeah. They're already ambiguous. Is this cloth still viable or expired? <laughs> and then you know the, the cost of taking it to Adobe, you can get a new one <laughs> that <laughs> item. <laughs> all the mannerisms in this man's life. Yeah. That could have threatened all his life and Chances. everything he has invested. Yeah. The cleaning up is not also always physical and the clothes and the house and all the, and the cockroaches, although that's, 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 part. that's part of it. Mm. But the habits, the cockroach habits, 
the micro habits, not even the big ones. Teaching mm. <laughs> how to uh, <laughs> be royal, you know. Yeah. <laughs> for, for the stage. Yes. <laughs> you know. Yes. We have a very cocky fighter called Con uh, Conor McGregor. Uh huh. Very cocky, really. He enters walking like a dragon. <laughs> As if he has already won. <laughs> he is more of a marketer than a fighter. <laughs> he hides his fights. <laughs> but uh -huh. like he's indomitable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And he manages to sell more tickets even when he's losing. Mm. So the fighting companies like him. He's yeah. dramatic enough to bring money. We just want money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he has fought undefeatable opponents. And then he plays that to, to, uh, just, just to deflect the shame. <laughs> so <laughs> when you watch a fight he did with another guy who was very devout, a guy who was just a religious devout guy, a Russian. Mm -hmm. When you hear Russians, pay attention. They, yeah. they have a discipline in their game, yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. And, 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 and he was beaten flat. He did not even finish, he was knocked out. The game did not go to the end. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Not the one that we have to score and judges are giving us gone uh -huh. on <laughs> knockout. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. But he was all cocky, yeah, you know, oh, this uh, what is this guy? What? <laughs> and yeah. people like the drama. drama. So yeah. he sold a lot of tickets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the thing you should be, pay attention to Conor McGregor is his wife. Not him. Mm -hmm. He was a nobody. He's not a good fighter. He's not a good anything. <laughs> he's a good marketer. <laughs> you said. Okay, on the ring, he's not good. Okay. <laughs> he's one style. He has one good hand. If he gets you with that hand early enough, he can win. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of things will have to have conspired in his favor. <laughs> a guy called Namagomedov does not fight while standing. So you can't hit him. He mm. fights on the ground. He calls himself the ego because the ego takes you to his world. Oh, okay. <laughs> he, he took Conor McGregor away. <laughs> Takes it to his world. And he uses submission. Submission only presses you down there until you quit. <laughs> <laughs> and, at many years old, Tamagometo was wrestling a bear. So we have videos of him wrestling wow. a bear. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> On the ground. So he came from another game that does not use standing. No, it uses <laughs> those now on the ground. <laughs> So, yeah. but do you know to this day, the one who carried the fame is Connor McGregor. Because the wife, I think, gave him the genius idea. Mm. You, you are um, a medium rage fighter. There are some guys who are just doing fighting and you can never beat them at fighting. Mm. <laughs> Namagomedov never lost a fight. He finished 29 0. Never lost. Connor has many losses, okay? <laughs> Uh -huh. But he has a whiskey brand he sells while he is marketing. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's making money along the way. Yeah. And so when you look at what a good woman did out of Conor McGregor, yeah. now you see mm. she can work magic. Mm. Mm -hmm. What if today you hear in the news, hope not, that Conor has now retired the other wife? Mm -hmm. uh, because that's what happens. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's memes that trend. On the time when he those humiliating losses in the hands of indefeatable fighters mm -hmm. like Namagomedov. Mm -hmm. And that guy's very religious, doesn't talk dirty. So he's not a hype man. He just says, let's beat on the ring. Let's do what we have to do. Mm. People know he's very solid, but he's not dramatic. You know, we also want drama. <laughs> yeah, we want drama. <laughs> we want dra that's why we. <laughs> We click to this show. <laughs> the drama when you're calling the pre 25. <laughs> we love it. So, I thought you know, it should be clinical. Pre 25. <laughs> <laughs> Bring the drama. Come, come with drama, drama. Like you want to whip us. <laughs> so, so. What happens when you build a man when you're so rusty? Connor was very rusty. When you look at his uh, early fight, he's very rusty. He's not that good at anything, really. Mm. But when she noticed this guy can pull a crowd, he can be more of an, an entertainer. A comedian. Stay there. I, I mean, I yeah. just, she just told him, okay, do what you have to do at the ring. But in the build-up to the ring, win the, win the fight there. 
Yeah. Even the the, 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 the fighters corner wins because he intimidated them until they're already free. <laughs> yeah. And they was expect him to win. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Once you expect your opponent to win. That's powerful. <laughs> you know, he has assured everyone. Even better this if I lose this other time to He even left UFC there and came to boxing to fight the biggest guy in boxing. He registered boxing another game. Yeah. <laughs> to fight Mayweather. The biggest guy there who never lost. Yeah. You know, I've just had a Eureka moment. Yes. Let me share it. Yes. Some people will never win in the ring but it's not because they're not good it's because their prowess is in the curtain raising exactly they build up to the fight yes and they should stay there exactly that is so powerful yes okay over to you a, a hype man who could have otherwise been a good mc a comedian yeah but took the comedy to another field yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I believe that's what wife, Connor's wife told him. Yeah. Otherwise, you'd have been a very good salesman. Anything. Yeah. So take your sales here. So he raised his tension until people are holding their breath by the ticket to just come and see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he went to fight Floyd Mayweather, oh. a legend who had already retired anyway, undefeated. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? You've never fought this game. <laughs> here, here, don't kick. Boxing, don't kick. Mm. Just. <laughs> and mm. you don't bring people down. Mm -mm. And Co what Mayweather did, he embarrassed him. He just ran him out of gas. <laughs> so if you realize, Conor likes short fights. You have oh. that just a few rounds, five rounds. Yeah. yeah, we do many, sometimes 12. Yeah. So you can just, uh, he, he, he just tired him. He was very embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> very shameful. <laughs> He has no stamina. <laughs> so, so they don't bother fighting him, really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they him. Yeah. But who carried the millions? The loser was going to go with a million dollars. Mm. This fella did his mathematics. My friend, he needs a million dollars. Okay. <laughs> Where can I get it? <laughs> then he got to the video. I am calling out to Mayweather. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know this guy's is after money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. What do you do when a woman who can work magic with a man who did not, <laughs> we were not going to respect in any field? <laughs> Benjamin, you've taken us through all that boxing story. <laughs> Take us back to the side trips. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> Just to tell you that some women have worked magic before our eyes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. They have made something out of nothing. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> you know. We want to just give genuine apology to those who did what that guy's... He has not betrayed, please. He's just giving me a story. I'm just mm, saying, mm. A, a, a fighter we have seen. Mm. We believe he remains loyal for life. Mm -hmm. But you have seen some of the richest men in the world. Mm. He, 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 he breaks up with the wife because of a side chick. And the wife says, if, I, if, I, if we divide your money, you lose your right one. I care about you. Huh? I'm going out, but I still care. And you're still releasing that person. Are you normal? Yeah. <laughs> so I will not go to court and press mm -hmm. for my share. Mm -hmm. Because then you stop being a wealthy person. And I, I, I value what I built. Mm -hmm. Look at how she thinks. Mm -hmm. I don't encourage all that self-sacrificing anyway. In me neither. I'm going to drink. I'm going to drink. I'm going to drink. But some women's conscience can't allow them to demolish what they built. Yeah. Because of your foolishness. Yeah. It's like the answering to another boss. Yeah. Their conscience, their values, their God, their creator, their calling. Mm. It's like that a mission to deliver. It's very sad that it turns this way bad. What do you want to give me? Give me whatever you And she left. Mm. She said, okay, you know my account. Put whatever you have to put. Mm. And you think karma will leave you alone? When you have paid justice with injustice. Okay, so why does it happen? <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the big question is why? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and why is this woman winning? Number one, the side chick is not winning against the wife mm -hmm. and running the game. Mm -hmm. These women are just the front. Mm -hmm. The real drama is not between them. Mm -hmm. It's the choices of the man. Mm -hmm. It is this man who has discarded the wife of his youth. Mm -hmm. The woman who made him. And ashamed and embarrassed her. Made her to appear like she's being compared. That woman is incomparable. The, the place she cleaned you up from. Nobody else had the patience to clean you up from there. Mm. Men we know. The places our women have held us up. Some of the men you see making moves here. They know to whom they owe the credit. Yeah. 
But what happens when over the years of money and privilege you start forgetting and start drifting? Mm. This man reaches a place where he thinks now he's indomitable, he can't go back down. The reason side chicks come in is because the man is deluded, mm -hmm. he's mistaken. Mm -hmm. That now he can make it without the one who built him up. Mm -hmm. He has climbed the ladder, but he kicks away the ladder mm -hmm. to enjoy the view. Ah, no, I'm up here. That song by a guy who said, the, the, the elephant, the, okay, a rabbit was stuck across, across a bridge because it was too deep. The water was too deep. Mm -hmm. It was a crossing point, not really a bridge, just a crossing point. Mm -hmm. There was a drift where you can step on, but the water is too much for the rabbit. Yeah. An elephant came along, found the rabbit stuck, told it, let me give you, a, please give me a lift. Okay, it's okay, I'll give you a lift. Mm -hmm. But so it comes on top and they cross. The elephant is not a struggle, just, um, but when they reach there, the rabbit insulted. Mm -hmm. Disrespect said, You did not even help me. <laughs> Look at you. Yeah. <laughs> said, No words don't. But should you ever want a, a return trip? Take care of yourself. Yeah. Some of these women will say, No problem. And they step aside because that's what they have said. No worries. But should you ever want a return trip? Many men don't think they'll need a return trip. They'll need support again. Mm -hmm. They don't think they'll go back to vulnerability. When they were young and didn't sing any weekend, they were very, very needy. When they were on top and flourishing, they are not needy. They don't imagine that there's a time they will need support again. Yeah. Vulner another vulnerability is coming that will be final and, mm. and, and life-threatening. Mm. Amen. There's another vulnerability comes. Yes. This time it's not about being youth and having no money. The way. When we are young, that's our struggle. No still giving out our careers, not pick, nobody knows us, we're struggling with money. Blah, blah, blah. That's the vulnerability. Mm -hmm. So you build one brick at a time with the patience. She sacrifices many things. All the aspects, delay gratification, defense, do a lot of investment. Mm. Finally, it begins to flourish. When it flourishes, now you fire her and you bring another person. With time now, because the one who came is an eater. Eat and eat and eat and eat. And now you're maintaining momentum somehow and the image is somehow. Mm. But a time will come when you need now support because you're not as strong. Yeah. You're not as admirable and likable. You're not in your best physical form. Mm. A time will come when you need another support lest you die. That's when you, re you look for her everywhere. Mm. It can take 20, 30 years. Surely it comes. Mm. If the one you brought did not, does not hurry your death, they take away everything. <laughs> because sometimes they expedite. You're taking too long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So it's not a win of the woman, of the side chick. It's betrayal by the man. Okay. What should you do if you're in that position? Mm -hmm. And when that happens to you, one, understand that you have not been replaced. The society is using the, the wrong language, please. Mm -hmm. You are not replaceable. Yes. Good hearts are irreplaceable. Lily, let me tell you, marrying a person of a good heart is a curse. Because if you betray them, you won't get another one. It's both, in Nehemiah, to say they entered into an oath and a curse. Where are they being used together? These people are just swearing to be loyal to their God. But the language used there is funny. They entered into an oath and a curse. That's what a good marriage is. It's both a binding and a threat. Good for you, Deuteronomy 28. Mm. One side, if you behave well, these blessings. Yes. If you behave the other way, these curses. Yes. That's what a good marriage is. Yes. This man has had the blessings of a good woman, and now he has cast. He has dropped and signed up now for the curses. They will roll with the time. Mm. They will come with the time. You have not been replaced. Okay. This person has just started, and has just commenced another journey, where he may have the heyday for a while, but judgment will, re will reach him. If it is a genuine fallout, some, sometimes people fall out and it's not one person betraying, they just, whatever it is, many reasons, maybe mutual, or whatever it is, or they were just pushing things. And when it is nobody embarrassing another publicly, nobody publishing, that is very different. Mm -hmm. You will not find any cases following. Okay. You're talking about the disrespect and public humiliation. Are we together? Yeah. Yeah. And the exposure, and let uh, you're not even defending the person against all these people, and even going by the side, get a child there, or sleep there, or get, 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 get you give media fodder yeah. to mock the one you came up with. You don't do that as a man, mm. you don't do that. So, if that happens to you, you have not been replaced, just take your time, build another life. Let me remind you never to carry all your eggs in the basket called marriage, to always have the capacity. You're not saying uh, you have other plans, there are one leg out, mm -hmm, you're mm -hmm. saying you should have the human ability to face life alone.
Should the love die? Should the loyalty die? Mm -hmm. You are able. Sometimes people still say they love you, but they are no longer loyal. Mm -hmm. They also love another person over there. Mm -hmm. When this happens, you'll be able to pick up your life. How do you do that? Organize your life and if possible, disappear from this person's world. Mm -hmm. It's not always physical. If you can go to Australia, go. Mm -hmm. But you don't always have to change your life so much because of a person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This cancel them from your emotional life. Mm -hmm. Cancel them from your day-to-day -day life. Mm -hmm and exist as if you don't know that they exist. Mm. And in many cases, the public hype will die off in a few very short years. And you start building your own life, you have your own business, you have your own community, mm. and you continue your life. Now, when, they, when the, their turn comes, you'll be the one to pity them. Mm. Because you know their weaknesses. You know your woman knows where you're weak. Mm. And they know you, the mistake you're making. Mm. You're not waiting for revenge. I'm not waiting. You don't start there watching. Move on with your life. Just heal. Get therapy. Release. Yeah. But be sure, the laws of his life are rigid. The laws of sowing and reaping. Mm. They are rigid. The seasons. Mm. They are rigid. And he says, do not betray the wife of your youth. It's rigid. Should they change their and try to come back and apologize? You can forgive her. You can forgiving does not always mean reconciling. Yes. You are not holding any bitterness anyway. Yes. But the sequence they started will follow them. Yes. Woo. Okay. Thank you so much, Benjamin. That was a powerful show. And thank you all for watching. See you next time. Bye. This is the Benjamin Zulu Global. Welcome our viewers from all over the world to the home of the heart matters. We are converging to learn together because when you know better, you can do better. And a better life is what we all want. Better work life. Better family life, better.